Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to try some inshore wrecks. we got some family coming in. So we're going to be fishing with them. We're going to see if we catch some kingfish and kind of see what's out there. It's kind of the early spring season. So, um, kind of really know what's going to be on. It's going to be good, it's going to be bad. We're going to find out. But heard bait was easy to catch, so that's good. So we're going to catch some bait and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. Alright guys, first fish on, that didn't take too long. Not even five minutes. Whoa! There you go. The yellow thing makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get the boat pointed to the fish and you're gonna just work up the bow. I got the boat, go ahead. At least they ain't chopped me. So we're working a nice ledge and uh, second pass over they were still getting lines out. We had one go off on the uh, on the T-top line. So that's a good sign for sure. Kind of made a run like a kingfish. I'm thinking kingfish. Right, you ready? Watch out guys. Right. Come around this way. Walk up this way. Alright guys, first fish is a bonita. Makes sense, good good fast running fish. Not the kingfish we're looking for, but hey, maybe we'll get a king. Maybe there'll even be some black down here. That'd be cool. Good practice fish for the crew. Gary, where you put that on? Alright guys, fish number two on. Go on around towards the front of the boat. That's quite good. Yeah. Point the boat. Do you? Yeah, one. Yeah, that's good. I just let them run. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't stop. Yeah. It's a rough day, guys. We are slow right out. And rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of a swell and even some wind. So we got a full boat today. It's making things a little difficult, but it'll be all right. Just keep it really tight. Is he starting to come in now? When you're trolling in these windy conditions and fighting fish, you really got to be aware of the wind because it's going to turn you real fast and you can get going really fast when the wind's behind you. He didn't run like a bonita, but... Hell no. Oh. That's why he ran so hard. Yeah. You got one of them or... No, we can get him in. If he ain't dead, we going back. That's why he ran so hard because he's pushing the hand. Alright guys, Benita number two that we caught. Yeah, right that. Yeah, that. Yeah, start working in the front. So with him being kind of low now, what you can do is you can kind of reel down and then just pull up. Nice and easy and reel down. Yeah. Is it under it? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Now, come on back here. Come There's on. a fish. You see the fish? Is it a cobia? Cobia. Just means when you tire it out, he takes off. Exactly. Yeah, if you can work back to the front. <laughs> fish on? Yeah, one. Is that another one on there? Yeah, another fish on. Alright, who's, who's responsible for all this mess? Acting like a Kobe, I'm hoping that's what it is. Alright, straighten it up. This is a Kobe, he's a nice one. He's really uh, another backbone on him. This one acts like a Kobe, I think. Kobe would be better than Kingfish. Oh, shoot, I think Kobe any day. Look at mine. Is mine a Kobe or can you tell? Kobe or shark? Mine is a shark. 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 Mine is
Yeah. Time's a shark. I'm between him and the fish. Pull the rod up. Uh, hard to say. There you go, a little higher. There you go. Really close. You got it. <laughs> area. Keeper Kobe is like a mythical creature. They don't exist to me. They get harder to find because the one that's going up. About 36. Here he comes. He wants to come in. I can tell he's tired. Somebody's tired. Watch this line there. Yeah, he might be a keeper. Maybe he can work out some more. Ready? Come on. Come on. Come on. Ready? There he is. There he is. I'm fine here. Come on. I'm going to give you an easy one. Come on. Out of the net. Ready? <laughs> Try them on the boat. I think I'm a little bit I'm a little bit afraid of that one because we had that. Alright guys, a 35 inch cobia. One inch short. Had a long fight on the uh, kingfish tackle. But uh, well, a little short, safely released. Hopefully we'll uh, find some more out here. At least that's a good sign. Something other than Benita. Um, definitely good, strong fight, and they're really good eating, so hopefully we'll get a bigger one. Go ahead and help her and I'll, uh, I'll get this bottom one up. Man, I was just trying to eat my lunch. Yeah. Even the hole just hang up. Maybe you got a snapper. All right, guys, got a fish on the downrigger. Pull pretty good. We'll see what what we got. Taking line. All right, quick reel. Good. Yeah. I have to. Oh, it's Kobe again. Thank you. You got the front. Yeah. Please get it quickly. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Just keep it. Uh, Kayla's on the fish. I right, get ready. He's coming up. Can you go in front of me, Kayla? There you go. Go a little bit straight. There you go. Are we sure it's not the same? There you go. Do we know if it's the same? Fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still trying to get my yeah. food. Get it, get it, get it. Keith, you can start going to the front. Okay. Let's get that rod, that line tightened up and out of the way. Yeah, he hit that floating bait before he come back and get that one. Um, you want to bring in that one, Dad? That one. Jerry, what happens when we try and eat? It's a good, good tactic to catch fish, start eating lunch. Everything's like half eaten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep, keep, keep it down, down put that tip down in the water, and, like, and, then, and then go around. And make sure the line don't touch. Oh, I see brown. It's could be a shark. Not a brown fish. <laughs> It's either a cobia or a shark. Shark. Yeah. It's that tail, you can see the, the back top is longer than the bottom. Alright, 
right, well, uh, not a cobia. Thought it might have been. Looked like one at first. Just a shark, but it's been uh, fairly active so far. This is the deepest line, so I don't think it's been splashed right there. I mean, nothing's splashed. All right, guys, he's uh, running a little bit now. Some fish made a big splash. We don't know if it was the fish that hit this one or something else. He made a splash. He came straight back from the bottom. Actually, just came over the ledge. He's still running. Still, still bending the rod there. Yeah, he was. Uh... Can you get that other one out of the way? Yeah. Well, they're going up front to get like that. This fish took a lot of line. He's a ways out. He's taking a little bit right now. I mean, pretty solid fish. Hopefully, he's not a giant shark. Definitely possible. Rather not. Can't fight a giant shark on this tackle. Does that scare you? Makes me think it's a big shark. Didn't line out. This is uh, they call it red crush. crush. Diamond high vis line. It's nice so I can see where the lines are. Actually, I like the green and orange, and I was thinking about a. Uh, Put the red on one side and the green on the other. It helps me keep, make sure my lines don't cross. Actually, very good finesse. Trap the line with your thumb. You gotta be very careful because. People who are in here will put too much pressure on and pop the hook out. Uh, a little bit I was, I was gaining on them. I don't know, sometimes I feel like he's, he's kind of coming. Come on, fish. <laughs> Even though it's light line, it, it's very tiring. See anything yet? No. You got leader? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, you think you want to just pop it? Um. You want to fight it for a little while? He's taking line now. Is he taking more line? Yeah. He's running. Put it in neutral there. There you go, Dad. Tag out. I'm going to show you how to put his boat in the water. I mean, fish in the boat. Put it in neutral for a second. Stretching that line, we hear it. Was that 20 pound test too? Yeah. Mm. I see it. See? Big shark. Mm -hmm. Besides the shark, guys. Wow. Dang. That's a white tip. That's a. Uh, it's like a shark. black tip. Ain't no black tip that big. Yeah. Nah, it's just underneath the. Big shark. Gosh, guys. You want me to jump in and take a picture with him? <laughs> Go hold him for the picture. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll ride him in back. Oh my god. Jeremy, you got the biggest fish of the day. You won the prize. How'd you ready to cut this line? You good. Yeah. You definitely got the biggest fish, Jeremy. That fish is what? How, how big you think? Six, seven feet. Yeah. It's probably about eight. He feels eight. Are you ready? Yeah. Back towards me. Yeah. The wire. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there we go. Catch and release, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! That wasn't baby shark right there, that was like... The real thing. Yeah, mama shark. That was a big shark. I'm surprised we got him up because uh, usually they break off, but he was hooked just perfectly. Kept the line from tail whipping. So 30 minutes later, dang, big, big shark. All right, guys, we're back at the dock. Had a great day on the water. Pretty fun. A little choppy for sure. <laughs> Pretty rolly, but it was, it was starting to lay down, so that helped. Uh, caught those cobia, which were a lot of fun. Uh, just a little bit short, you know, they recently up, up the regulations from 
33 to 36 so this was uh just a little while ago they'd have been legal fish but we had to throw them back but it was cool it's great to catch them had that huge shark on i've always suspected those were sharks you know when they fight like that and uh never got them up because i mean we're using 20 pound line and 40 pound leader but it was hooked just right fish didn't tail whip it so between me and my dad we got it up it's a tough workout even on light line i'm like Dang that, if you want to fight, I'm about ready to break it off, but he stuck with it and got us a big old shark. So, all in all, really cool trip. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Find us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous.